What is good, Tesla family? It's Ray J back with another video. And this one's a breakdown is going on with Tesla Spy and video the QQQ and a couple of other tickers. And a breakdown is happening to the overall market, what you should be watching for moving forward, what's happening with some big earnings coming out, and what you should be watching for as we approach today. But before I bring anything down with all this information, before I get into any more details, let me just mention a couple of things. I am firstly not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Weeble, the link down below and deposit any amount of money into the account, you are guaranteed up to 12 free stocks. Now, this offer ends in just about 13 days from now, so check it out before they run out. Anyways, this breakdown is going on with the market so far. So looking at the market, we're actually seeing the market sink a little bit during the pre-market, but we are approaching our demand zone. So it's very important to be watching to see how the market ends up reacting. On the 30 minute time from SPY is holding its 200 EMA, at least as of right now. And Tesla is a little bit below it, but on the four hour time frame, we're treating the 200 as resistance. And you can see Tesla is starting to see some buyers trying to defend. So we're going to be watching this very carefully. Now, as far as today went, we had some earnings that came out. ASML, P&G, and all these different ones had uh, very interesting earnings. We had some surprises, some beats here and there. But we also had some misses. We had some misses in revenue. Uh, an example is like Ally Bank missed on revenue. Uh, we also had the Nasdaq missing on growth. So overall, I would say quite mixed earnings with more beats than misses, uh, but a little bit mixed looking at some beats here and there and also some misses. Uh, I also want to call out that for Wednesday, we also happen to have some big earnings. We have Tesla and Netflix announcing their earnings uh, after the market closes. So for today, after market close, we have Tesla, Netflix, Lamb Research, Discover, and a bunch of other earnings. And now when it comes to data affecting the markets, I just wanted to call out that uh, going forward, we have some Fed speakers starting at 12 p.m. Uh, this is an Eastern Standard Time. We have Waller, Williams, Bowman, and just a bunch of other Fed speakers. However, at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, we have the 20-year bond auction coming out. I want to be very careful with that because the last time that the 30-year bond auction came out, the stock market tanked very hard. And if this is hotter than expected, it's going to cause yields to rise, which could slow the market down. So be very careful at 1 p.m. Eastern time. I'm expecting some high volatility. Until then, though, the market is approaching some demand zones. Now, something to know about the market before we open is we've been kind of flat on the Nasdaq and the S&P 500. Uh, there's not a whole lot going on from there, but there is an impact from the war on United Airlines as it's warning invest investors that some of their flights have been forced uh, to be suspended due to the war that was going on that could affect their earnings. And we're starting to see uh, some new changes right now in the real estate sector as home builder sentiment is falling to the lowest point in 10 months. So that's also very important. And that's pretty much it for now. Now let's break down the charts. How are things looking? So Tesla has been declining quite a bit over the last couple of uh, you know, the last few hours. However, as long as it holds this 250 support, as long as buyers step in, Tesla could be establishing higher highs and higher lows. Now, if 250 fails us, we could come down to 247. That's going to be the next support to watch for just in case. But my gut is telling me we're going to test this 250 area and then see a balance. And we could see Tesla try to make its way back up towards 257.5. And then after that, it, may, it could even go up to 260 if we break it. But we're going to be watching these levels carefully. Now, as a reminder, we have the 20 year bond auction coming out at 1 o'clock p.m. That could help us to try to hold up a little bit, could help us to try to like hold up and hit like 260 and then come back down. Uh, but if it causes a rug pull for the markets, whether Tesla's at 257 or 260, wherever Tesla is, there could be a rug pull coming to Tesla as well. And the whole market could sink down if the auction is too hot and we get a negative reaction from the stock market. So watch it very carefully. We're going to be watching to see how this uh, you know, causes sentiment to change and any reactions. For SPY, I just wanted to call out that for SPY, basically we are sinking a little bit on SPY during the pre-market. But you will see that we have this demand zone down here. And we have the supply zone up here. Now, when we hit 437.5 to 438.5, we have a tendency of seeing this supply zone and cause the market to slow down. So it's very important to be watching this as resistance. And down here, we have this demand zone. 
Uh, this is where we tend to see a lot of buyers snipping in. So basically, it's very likely that around this 433 area, if we do come down a little bit more, there could be a bounce coming like super, super soon. Uh, but the thing about that is this. So what could happen is just to ignore this part first. We, we basically drop like this. We could bounce off very close to 433. If not 432, somewhere in this area, we tend to see buyers step in. I just want to warn you that if we lose 432, that's your bearish signal. We're going to be sinking towards 430. That's like the bearish case. But I don't lean in that direction. I don't lean in that direction. Excuse me. We might see SPY sink down towards this demand zone. Then we might bounce, right? We might see some buyers try to launch back up to 435, maybe even 436.5 or so. But then when the auction comes out, if the auction is too hot, it could cause a rug pull and it could cause the market to sink back down towards these low levels. If the auction is like decent, SPY could just try to hold this area and try to range trade. So we'll see what happens at one o'clock PM Eastern time if the auction is too hot or not. So watch for that data at 1 p.m. And until then, you know, we could see this thing kind of sink a bit and try to balance. We could see it uh, attempts to balance on SPY. So just watch this area very carefully. We will see how this ends up getting some kind of reaction. All right. So we're going to be watching these levels. We're looking for a potential balance on SPY, at least for the morning. Uh, if it does drop a bit more, watch the demand be like met before a balance, or it could bounce a little higher. Uh, and then we're going to be watching for a big reaction after the auctions data comes out. For the QQQ, we're seeing something very similar. The QQQ is getting very close to its demand zone so in, in this like 365 to 364 zones, so like right about here. We tend to see a lot of buyers stepping in. So we're going to be watching this area very, very carefully just to see what happens from here. Uh, I just wanted to call out that uh, we're getting very close to this zone. And this could lead to potential balance on the QQQ, uh, very close to this area. So we're going to be watching to see if we test this demand zone or not. Uh, we could come down for liquidity grab here and see buyers step in. Uh, if buyers do step in, you're going to be watching 366 as resistance. If you break this, watch 367, then 368 and 368.74 as resistance levels. Let's see if this thing can break above 366, if it manages to do so. We're going to be watching these levels very, very carefully. Now, when watching them, I just want to call out that uh, if we end up failing to get this breakout, or if we just like hit 366 and kind of stop around here, watch for a much bigger move after the bond auction data comes out at 1 p.m. If it causes a rug pull, we could see this sink right back down. If it causes a pump, we could see the market pump. So we'll have to wait for some data at 1 p.m. But look for a little drop in a balance intraday, most likely for the QQQ, before that data comes out. All right. And now looking at something else, such as NVIDIA, it's looking a little bit weaker. NVIDIA is continuing to sink quite a bit. We're going to be watching to see if buyers step in very close to this 425 area and try to push it back up towards 430, uh, 430 to 435. And then if the bond data pushes this up, we could see this thing try to get closer to 440. If the bond data causes this to drop at 1 p.m., we could see another rug pull or big rejection. We could see NVIDIA sink back down towards 425, if not below that, towards 420. All right, so we're going to be watching this very carefully. Look for a drop in a bounce, then a big reaction at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Finally, for Apple stock, it's looking a bit more bearish because we have this head and shoulders like pattern. Now, if we continue to sell off, let's see if bars step in around this 175 area, try to push us back towards 176.5. And then after that, uh, when the bond data comes out, let's see if we could keep going for 178, or if we get a big rejection at 176.5 to push down towards 174. All right, so look for a little drop in a balance, then we'll see what happens after the bond auction report. And that's going to cause a big move, in my opinion. That's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I thank you all so much for listening. Know that Tesla has earnings for today, so I want to warn you all about this. Uh, a big move will be coming very soon, and you have to be ready for this high volatility. Okay, so take care, guys. I will be talking about Tesla's earnings very, very soon during the day. I'm very excited about it, and we should see some very interesting data. Anyways, thank you for listening. Have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next video in just a couple of hours. Thank you again, and peace out.